Hey guys and welcome. Today we'll be looking over some of the best builds and strategies for Brightwing. This information will be valid until the next major patch or overhaul of Brightwing, so as of the 9th of May 2015. With that said, let's have a look at some of the basics. Brightwing is a ranged support, currently sitting on a 57.9% win rate. An incredibly good and versatile support, she is highly contested and ranked at the moment. Brightwing's Q is Arcane Flare, a skill shot that deals increased damage inside the inner circle and mediocre damage in the outer rim. This skill shot is particularly hard to land despite its large radius. This ability differs from most other area of effect skill shots, for example Malfurion's Moonfire, although having a smaller radius is very easy to land because it is an instant cast. Arcane Flare, however, is not instant. The longer the range of the cast will make the projectile take longer to reach the destination, adding many more calculations while aiming it. In most cases, you will have to aim where the enemy is going, not where they are. Using this move on enemies takes practice, but don't be overly concerned about landing the inner circle. Brightwing's W is Polymorph. This move deals minor damage and prevents the enemy from auto-attacking and using abilities for a few seconds. Using this move correctly in team fights is key to winning them. Using it as soon as it's off cooldown on the nearest target is a terrible idea. Polymorph should be used on primary targets in team fights at the right time. For example, when the enemy Vala uses Strafe, the Vala has committed into the fight and is at maximum damage output. Disabling this and the ability to use Vault will turn the fight quickly. Polymorph is also extremely effective against heroes that have short cooldowns and rely heavily on their ability to survive, like Illidan, Kerrigan, and Thrall. Brightwing's E is Pixie Dust. This increases the target's movement speed briefly, blocks basic attacks, and reduces their damage. This is sort of like a very weak shield. It soaks up some minor damage at grass movement speed, either to run away or to close the gap. I would advise using this on your backline fighters when they're at risk of taking damage. Brightwing's trait is Soothing Mist. Brightwing passively heals nearby allies for every 4 seconds. This trait is very useful, as Brightwing does not need to actively do anything to keep her allies up. The healing is not significant, so it won't keep allies up when they are bursted down. However, in the laning phase, it offers nearly unlimited sustain. Brightwing's Z or Mount is Phase Shift. Brightwing can teleport to allied heroes with a global range. This move, and using it correctly, is what separates a good Brightwing from a pro Brightwing. In the laning phase, should you run out of mana since Brightwing has no mana regaining talents, Brightwing can hearth back and teleport back to her lane nearly instantly, essentially giving her extremely little downtime. Because of this move, if done right, the team can move as a group with the exception of Brightwing, Brightwing can push a lane and even forts alone. The enemy team will be faced with a major dilemma deal with Brightwing, who can most likely outrun them anyway, or deal with Brightwing's team and or objectives. Even if they send one hero to deal with Brightwing when the team fight breaks out, Brightwing can teleport in and help while the enemy hero sent to Brightwing's lane will miss out on the fight, making it a 4v5. Brightwing's first heroic ability is Emerald Wind. Creates an expanding ring of wind that damages and pushes back enemies. While being pushed back, the enemies are unable to act. This heroic ability is one of my favorite, but is risky. It has three primary uses. Number one, disengage the enemy team in a losing or unwanted team fight, essentially to save your allies. However, your team is now down one heroic ability if another team fight occurs soon. Number two, push the enemy team into your team, cutting off the retreat and annihilate them. This will only work if you have good synergy or some sort of advantage, like a 4v5, or your team is up on levels. Again, very risky as they can turn on you and alternatively you've just annihilated your own team. Number 3. Split up the enemy team, probably the preferred method. Brightwing can go in between the enemy frontline and backline and split them up, pushing the backline away from the fight and the enemy frontline into your team. Your team can quickly kill off the frontline and pick off the stragglers. Brightwing's second heroic ability is Blink Heal. Brightwing teleports to a nearby ally and heals them for a moderate amount. This has two charges with an 8 second cooldown. This heroic ability helps Brightwing support her team. This move can be particularly useful among the seasoned players as it helps deceive and trick the enemy. Brightwing can bait the enemy team by luring them into your team with this move. Brightwing can use this to waste enemy moves, particularly skill shots by blinking away, 
yeah, in time or split up the enemy team by baiting some members to chase Brightwing only to have her blink back to the team, separating an enemy from the fight. Overall, it adds sustain to your team. Now we'll have a look at some of the builds. The first build I call is the Darkwing build, and this consists of Bribe, Envenom, Gusts of Healing, Emerald Wind, Sprint, Critter Eyes, and Continuous Winds. This build has a 68.5% win rate at this time. This build is a jack of all trades and seemingly a master of all. While split pushing, Bribe can help push the lane with mercenaries. Should anyone intervene to stop, Brightwing can hold her own with passive heals and even kill targets with Cutter Eyes and End Venom. Should a teamfight erupt, Brightwing can teleport, heal up the injured, and finish off the weak. Should anything not go according to plan, Brightwing can sprint away. This build covers PvE, 1v1, split pushing, teamfights, escape, and PvP. All round, an extremely good build. Next build I call the Full Support build, which consists of Bribe, Protective Shield, Gusts of Healing, Blink Heal, Sprint, Critter Eyes, and Storm Shield. This build has a 67.8% win rate at this time. This build is purely support. You can split push however you lack any major 1v1 capabilities. Gusts of Healing can help with the team fight and easily heal up to 50% of your team's health in 4 seconds. Along with shields and blink heal, you can maximize your team's potential and push hard in any team fight. This build is recommended for very well synergized teams or pre-mates. Well, that's it for today, guys. Always remember there is no one build that will win every game. I always recommend you to make your own build and be creative. If you want more information on hero stats and even your own, your own MMR, go to hotslogs.com. I highly recommend this website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.